this evening. Beautiful. <laughs> I would like to introduce our presenter this evening. This is Dr. William E. Lass, a former professor at Minnesota State University, Mankato.
people within the South. Uh, anyone who has had much experience with Northeastern Minnesota, I think, would quickly reach the conclusion that the people of Southern Minnesota are more like the people of Northern Iowa than they are like the Iron Rangers. If you want to talk about a cultural gap, talk about the difference between the North, East, and South. I had a former student who uh, taught at Rainy River Community College for a number of years before he retired. And uh, he was originally from Austin, Minnesota. He said, you know the toughest thing I have with students at International Falls is convincing them that agriculture is important in Minnesota. He said, these, these are all kids of lumbermen. That's all they know is that is their father works in a mill or the father works in the forest. And he was always saying, you know, sometime I'm going to organize a field trip and I'm going to take a bunch of these people to southern Minnesota and I'm going to say, see, corn, soybeans, <laughs> and then they'll get introduced to a different aspect of Minnesota. Now, with respect to Minnesota's boundaries, I left these lights off deliberately so you can see better. Uh, all of Minnesota's boundaries were determined within a 75-year period. Now, whether 75 years are short or 75 years is long, I think it depends on perspective. I taught for over 40 years, and one thing I was never satisfied that I could teach was the perspective of time. There, there is no way of teaching a perspective of time. It's something you develop as you age. I was reminded of this the week before last when uh, President Obama met group of uh, preschoolers, science dealing with these little four and five-year-olds, and one of them asked him if he fought in the Civil War. <laughs> 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 and 